<laughs> oh, oh, I'm in a mood tonight. Yeah, you can wrap that up anytime you feel like it, honey. Here's a, another little choker, little wire. I'm, I'm going to put this aside for... Yeah. Yeah, just put it in the kids' thing. Poor Samantha. Here's a double. They're connected. Black fasted beads and pearls with little silver rings. Stretchy, I think. Not really. Yeah, it is. It's stretching. Not an easy stretch. Oh, yeah, it stretched right on. What am I talking about? Duh. And it stretched right off. So there we go. Oh, Here's some beads. Okay. We had beads like this earlier, but they were gold tone. Now we've got the silver ones. Very silky feeling. They're not magnetic. But I'm not sure they're metal. So, but they're very cool beads. That's the bead bin, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's already put some over there. Look. He wanted y'all to miss this. All you bead um, makers with beaded items. Here's these. Here's a little adjustable ring. It's got a little turquoise stone, double hearts. I'm gonna put that in the craft lot. Okay, we're back and we found this beautiful wood cross. I love it because I love the way it fits in your hand like that. Love that. Beautiful. That's going in my box. Okay, we have this beautiful stone here that can be a pendant. It's got the holes there for you to put the chain through. Very pretty stone. I don't know what stone it is, but it's very pretty. Nice cut. My hand's hurting. Honey. We got another Gulf Stream pen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at you show and talk. Ooh, I can walk and chew gum too. <laughs> <laughs> Just not well. That's all. <laughs> here's a here's an artisan made rig that I really like. It's a red wire, thick wire. They did a great wiring job on this. It's got a nice style to it. You can even wrap in some beads in there. Very cute. That's cute. Comfortable to wear. Then we have this acrylic one that's also very comfortable to wear. Pretty colors in there. And then we have just a little ring, and I'm not sure if that didn't go on an earring, so we're just gonna put it to the side. In there. Okay, the rings are done. Okay, thank you very much. Next is a necklace with a hook with a little tag that says nothing. And so maybe, I don't know, maybe it should hook like that. Now this says something, I think. Does it? Don't make me a liar now. Well, I don't know. It looks like it wants to say something, but it's not. Where is this? Look at mine. Nope. Not a nothing. This is not a real heavy chain, but it's heavy enough. It's a comfortable weight. There's no wear on it. But it's not, I don't think it's an expensive chain. It's a curved chain. Let's get it going right, guys, now. Come on. Oh, don't do this to me. It's like a puzzle. Well, there you go. There we go. Get it fixed. 
That's done. Here's a keychain, San Francisco. There's the bridge. Nice keychain. That is pretty cool. Put that in the curiosity lot. Okay. Curiosity jar. Here's a little owl that's enameled. It's got some distress in the enamel. And the little gold piece in here. Very cute. There's the back. The back's in great shape. It's got a little wear here and there, but not much. And it's on this. So it's going to come off of this and go into a nice chain. It's cute. So we're going to put this in the pendant lot, honey. Okay. There we go. Sorry guys, sometimes I have to help out. Here's a little stretchy rhinestone, my favorite bling. I just love rhinestones like this. It's very cool. Here's another, mm, I don't know if it's a bracelet or an anklet. I don't see any marks on this. Sometimes these are silver and sometimes they're not. Jeez, this must be a knot. Yep, it's a knot. But it's very big to be a bracelet. I would say it's an anklet. R4 larger wrist. If one needed that, that. Here's a pretty little pearl pendant. Very pretty. The rhinestones. Even the baguette rhinestones here. Here's the back. Set nice. And it just clips on your bracelet. Or you can clip it on a bracelet. Or you can clip it on a necklace. Very cool. Here's another little pendant charm. Love the moon glow in this. It's pink. We have this little charm here in the heart. Very cute. You know, I've almost seen, think I've seen earring. So I'm gonna put this aside over here, okay? Okay. I'm not sure what this is. It's a link. I'm gonna put it aside too. Not sure what it is. Here is Titanium E-Force Plus. Here's the other side. I think that's enamel. I don't know what E-Force Plus is. Okay. Here's a beautiful pendant. Here's the back, it's in great shape. Got a little something here on it that I just got off. Very pretty. Here's a little snowman pin. Very cute, made out of a button. Very cute. Okay, curiosities or um, pins? Just put it in pins. All right. Here's a little coin, token of some kind. I think it's a recovery. For a recovery? You eat alcoholics or something. It's seven, seven months. I don't know what to. Uh... Okay, well, right now I'm curious. Okay. It might to, be. To thine own self be true. Service, unity, recovery, months. Seven, middle. Seven months in the middle. And on the back, I have it upside down. It's the serenity prayer on the back. 
I'm going to put that in the uh, curiosities. Okay. Whip it, yes. Okay, you need to get some more stuff out. I'm blowing here. Well, I didn't want to make a whole lot of noise. We'll make it better than nothing. Okay. We'll scream above the noise. Just teasing. <laughs> Here's a pearl and black, um, black beads. Disc. Very cute. Stretchy. I'm going to put that in my bracelet lot. Love this one. Oh, mercy. Here's a little hamburger and hot dog and french fries and milkshake. I mean, what else could you ask for? Little rhinestones to go with it. That's the cutest little bracelet ever. If you're hungry, just look at your bracelet. And you'll be even hungrier. Yeah. <laughs> Oh idea. yeah, that's cute. They have little googly eyes on them too. Now that one doesn't have any. I bet I could put some on there. That one's got one googly eye. And he's got one googly eye. But the hot dog has two googly eyes and the hamburger has none. Sounds like a little piggy story. We have some hoop earrings in gold tone. They're in pretty good shape. I don't see any really wear on them. Now one of these looks like it's silver tone. The other one looks a little gold tonish, so I don't know. <clears throat> it's hard to tell. Maybe just the lights here, honey. The lights playing tricks on my eyes. Huge brooch. Very huge, very organic in shape. I'm looking for a name. I think I see, do I see one right here? It says something. Avon. Wow, I don't remember this. So it's either after my time or before my time. Avon brooch. Wow. That's the first I've ever seen that. Here's a little fish pendant. There's your little place up there to put your C ring to get it on a chain. Very cute. Not magnetic, might be pewter. I don't think it's silver. It'd be silver over copper though. And that's exactly what it is. Very precious. And here's the lovely home of Charleston, South Carolina. That's on the battery. The big beautiful homes right there on the battery. I'm surprised that sand dollar survived in a jewelry jar. Yeah, and it was dated 427.13. I'm surprised it's lasted that long without being broken. Aaron and Drew from the back. That's beautiful. Beautiful city by the sea. You want to put that in curiosity? Uh, it's not a necklace. It's not a brooch. No, I know that, honey. I'm just thinking, do I want to even put it in there, you know? Okay. Just give it to me. I can do that. Here's the cutest little pen. It's a ketchup. Ketchup pen. Looks like it says Heinz. It does. Too cute. There we go. Thank you, hon. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll find the mustard. What? Oh, the mustard pen, yeah. mustard pen, yeah. and then we can make a scatter pen. Yeah. Now this is silver. Silver bells. It says 925 Mexico. So 
there's a lot of other things too. Well. Um, I think V H. Got some initials. Oh come on, where are you? It looks like V H or V K. VKH or VHH, I don't know. It's too hard to tell. So frustrating. It is so frustrating. And here's a ribbon in there. It needs to come out. Oh, that's the string where the price tag was. Okay, I got it. And then it's got TH dash. 29. Actually, silver bells at ring. Very cute. Very cute. Okay, it says it's silver. We're going to just test it to make sure my solution's been working. Oh yeah, here's your blood stain. See the red? That's what you're looking for. So yes, this is silver. You want to put this in the top drawer, honey? Sure, why not? It's a cute pendant. Here's a little stretchy bracelets with rhinestones. They're all there. I got to clean it. Here's another cross, and it's like a stained glass cross. That's pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty. Could hang that. Be pretty with the sun going through it. It says USA up here, and something else over there. Let's see. USA. And it's just got a mark. I guess it's a maker's mark. There's a Very pretty. Found that other. Oh. We've got. Yeah, we've got a ton of them, but they're all different. Oh, are they? That's oh. got blue stones yeah. in it. Oh, okay. Here's a little metal beaded bracelet. In a copper color. And brass color. It's mixed metal look. Going into my jewelry lot. Here's another beautiful red and abalone stones in these tiles, but this is very stretched. This doesn't feel that sturdy to me. No, it's not. It's even shredding right here. So it needs to be restrung. Very pretty though. I'm gonna we'll put that, I guess, in the craft lot. You wanna bag it? Eh, no. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Mm hmm. That's lovely. If only it were 18 carat. I think it's a fudge. It's got NR. In our queue or something on there. Yep, in our queue. Whatever that means. Oh, it must be a six. It's a size six. It's very pretty. You can continue wearing that if you want all night. Okay. It is very pretty. Uh-huh. I like the gallery on it, the, the work underneath here too, and the rhinestones around it. It's not magnetic. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. The next one is a necklace, lobster claw clasp with an extender. 
a curve chain and some red enameled and golden ovals that are diamond cut so that it picks up the light. I love that red and gold combination. It's a very pretty necklace. Here's a pearl shell pendant. Great condition. Very nice. What's oh, broke? Oh, it's on the cliff. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have a lobster claw. Now, we had another one of these necklaces. It's not a lobster, it's a, a toggle. I'm in a toggle class. Yeah. We had another one of these necklaces, though. It's just missing some chains. So it looks like it's missing about four or five inches of chain. Ooh, that's too. a thick one, too, there. Did you hear me, girl? Yeah, I know. It's missing four or five inches of chain yeah. there. Are you happy? I'm thrilled. I heard every word you said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to ignore you. It's not working, is it? <laughs> <laughs> this looks like coral to me, or bone, or something. It's got just that. And this piece is a thicker piece. All the other ones are real thin pieces like that. They all have that mark in the center. So, but I'm not sure what they are. If they're pieces of slices of bone or coral or what. I don't know. They're so big to be coral. So I'm going to put that in the craft lot. Lamper bracelet. Gold tone. Excellent shape. I don't see any wear on it. I don't see any marks on it. Very simple, quick. On and off. And we have R2-D2. Look at there. I love it. It's got all kind of writing on the bottom. I guess credits to whatever. <clears throat> let's see. Wow, it's made in China. 1995 LFL Applause China CE It's copyrighted 1995 Very cute Just set him over here You can watch Okay This looks like an Avon necklace It does, it does, it does but alas, there's no tag to tell me it is. But it's got the um, this. Oh, the way it's hooks weird. Okay, this is the extender, and the extender you can take off if you don't need it, so you don't have all that dangle there to ruin the look of your necklace when it slings around your neck. And then you can just clasp it like that. And you have your Y necklace. Now, if that's not big enough, long enough, the drop's not long enough, then you add your chain, your extender on it. And Avon does that typically in their necklaces, uses this extender. And then you can clasp it anywhere you want to on there and they finish their extenders off with a bead so they they take attention to detail the metal there's no metal wear on this the yellow is beautiful and then it's got little butterflies and those opalite looking beads it's just very pretty necklace Y necklace Oh, look at this, darling. This is fabulous. Got something written in the back. I couldn't read what it was. Yeah, no, it does. 1988, JJ. Huh. 1988, this is vintage. And this is JJ, and I love it. 
That is too cool. Nice brushed metal gold color. Just laying up there on top. I like that. Hey, give it to me. Thank you. Here's another um, pendant. These are very, not very cold. These. I don't know if they're made to look like amber or if they are amber. I don't know if this is coral or made to look like coral. I can't tell. There's the back. There's no marking, so I imagine these are faux. But who am I? Oh. This piece here glows right up. So that could be amber. Those pieces, not so much. That one, so I don't know. That is very dry like amber. Let's see if we see. We would have to investigate this one a little further, but I can see things in it. If I can get it to show through here. I'm also looking for bubbles. See any? Just take a quick look through my loop. That would be awesome if that was a solid piece of amber there. I just don't know. I'd have to get another opinion. There you go, honey. Here's a pretty brooch with some rhinestones here. That's been scuffed a lot. Yeah, it looks like it needs cleaning. Yeah. They look like they're green. Yes, they're green. Definitely green in color. They're rhinestones, honey. They're just not very uh, shiny. Let me see something. Okay. I just cleaned it up a little bit. It's pretty green. Good shape. Here's a pretty bracelet. It reminds me of um, well, a designer. An older vintage designer. It does have a name on here. Well, that's exactly right. That's an older vintage designer. It's a very large bracelet. Looks like somebody's added some links to it to make it larger. I'd take those links off if it were me and make it smaller again like that. But right now it's made for a larger wrist. You can put that in the top drawer, honey. Okay. That's a Coro. This is beautiful. Looks like druzy, stretchy. This is faux druzy now. But isn't that gorgeous with the gold and the black? It looks very rich. Very pretty. Very pretty on the hand. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, this is a pretty shell pendant. Looks like abalone. You can see the pinks and the greens and the reds. Very pretty. There's the other side of the shell. You can see an iridescence in it too with those colors. It's not capturing on the screen there, but they're there. Very pretty. Here's a little bracelet. You know, this is another little um, choker for a little girl. It's a 
it in the Samantha box. Mm -hmm. Here's a pretty little necklace. Barrel class. These are all cold and they look like little red tulips. Very cute beads. They're carved. The carving on each one is to make it look like a little tulip. Very cute, very cold, very red. Little awesome little necklace. So we got these two things. Okay. Let's get this one out of the way. Yeah. Trust no man. Well, you know what I say to that? Bah humbug. I can tell you, you can trust the right ones. There you go. What are we going to do with this? I didn't put a curiosity lot. Yeah, that's what I did. Here's a pretty turquoise and gold beaded Ouch. necklace, lobster claw <coughs> clasp. Very beautiful necklace. Here's another statement necklace. I love these color of beads here, these um, opalite, light blue. Look like the ocean. This has a lobster claw class, an extender, and it's a brassy color, copper, brassy color. Very pretty. Beautiful blues and clear rhinestones. Here's some pretty little earrings that has rhinestones in the front. Any marks on them? Let's see if they're magnetic. No, they're not. That's not either. I'm surprised I don't see any marks on these. Nowhere. Very pretty. Here's some more little post earrings and black and rhinestone, and these are glass beads. These earrings have a weight to them. 